it's Mommy Tank. What's up, Tank Gang? I'm too scared. I can't do big ones. I get scared. It's gonna pop on me. I think the only time I have soda is when I get fast food. I don't like to drink soda for some reason. When I went to Subway today, they actually had a veggie patty. Because I was like, do you have anything like vegetable based? And he was like, the guy was so nice. He said, yeah, I have a veggie patty. And I said, oh, can you look at the ingredients? And he was like, oh, I don't have the box. So I actually went online and veggie patty have milk and eggs. So it wasn't, it was vegetarian, but it wasn't vegan. So I was like, I can't get that, you know? So I got something else. I'm really excited about this. The whole wheat bread, I think they had um, either milk or something. I don't know, I can't remember. But guess what I got, you guys? I got just Italian white bread, right? Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited. Look at this. Yes, there is no meat, but there's lettuce. Well, there's spinach, then there's lettuce, then some tomatoes, okay? And then cucumbers, and then some bell peppers, okay? And then avocado. Avocado, you know, it's the, it's the fat part of the, uh, the, the, the sandwich that'll make you fill you up. Because if you just put, honestly, um, just vegetable with bread, personally for me, I won't get satisfied. I need to have a little bit of fat in there, you know, like you know, a little bit of fatty food. And I asked for banana peppers on the side and some pickles on the side. And um, oh, here we go, here we go. Did you guys know Subway had avocado, guacamole? I bet you didn't know. Mmm. Pickle? Haha. <laughs> A bite? I have no idea they have guacamole. Guacamole is how you say it. I used to eat Subway before. I did have veggie burger a long time ago, a while back. And I just moved into veggie with the bread and then I wasn't satisfied, you know? I was like, uh. You could ask for, you know, extra avocado. How's it, Pepe? Good? They said some state, Subway actually had vegan black bean patties. If you're lucky, I guess that's what you could order. Not where I live. Really, this is like, it'll get you full, but it won't weigh you down. You know how some meals you eat? You 
you love it, you eat it, you get full, but it brings you down, and you can't do anything afterwards. I mean, I guess once in a while it's okay, but to eat like that all the time, especially like let's say, you know, you're at school or work, and you have so much to do all day. You don't want to eat heavy lunch, you know? But you want to eat something that will give you energy. This is really good. Light, carb. Mmm. Tastes good too. Although you could make this at home, you know. Can't remember what I paid for. Oh, I also put some buffalo sauce in here. Buffalo sauce is vegan there, you know. You could make this at home, but mm. usually Subway for me is like. I think inside, it's inside Walmart. Is it inside Walmart? I think so. You, know, you go shopping for Walmart, whatever, you look around, you get hungry. Your kids get hungry. And Subway's there, so you want to get something. You know, before I used to skip it, because I thought there was just no vegan option there at all. Mommy Tan, please give us tips for meeting the boyfriend's parents for the first time. <laughs> My God. What Daddy King did to me. Oh. I had no idea I was meeting his parents. His parents had no idea they were about to meet me. We were both not prepared to meet each other. We met. He was on his way to meet his parents for dinner and he just brought me and they were like, whoa. And I was like, whoa. There's a trick to that. Okay. They don't want too much out of you. Your boyfriend, your girlfriend's parents, when they meet you for the first time, they're not really expecting. They don't, I mean, they don't, of course, you're like really, really unattractive. So they'll be like, whoa, they'll be shocked and be like, oh. No, but they're not really like looking for, you know, to see what you have. You know what I mean? You know what they're looking for though? You want to know? Mm. They're looking for only one thing out of you. They just want to know if you're respectful. That's it. Be respectful. Have some respect when you meet them. That's all. That's all that you're looking for. You know? If you give them respect, they're gonna like you. What do you mean by that, Mommy Tang? Listen. Obviously, you're meeting his or her parents because you guys want to step further into your relationship, right? I mean, if you're just joking around, you're not going to meet their parents.
the, they just want to make sure that their child, which is your boyfriend or girlfriend, is treated good. All you have to show the parents that I respect you and I treat your kid, daughter, or son really well. That's all they want to see. You know? Let's say you go to dinner. And he says something. And you're like, shut up. Like in front of his parents? They're not gonna like that. You know? If he does something stupid, you know, he might do something stupid sometimes when he's with his parents or his siblings or something just to prove the point. I don't know. Some guys do that. You know? Just wait it off till you're alone. So why do you do that when your parents are there? I don't understand that, you know what I mean? But not in front of his parents, you know? Then what do you mean? I don't, whatever, you don't know, you have that attitude and then my parents might look at you and anyway, she's rude, you know? Some of you might be like, I don't care what they think. Then obviously this question is not for you. Obviously this person asked me that question because they care. They care a lot about what your your boyfriend or your girlfriend's parents think of you. That's why they ask. So if you care, all you have to do is show them respect. No? Let's go. The last bite was good. And the buffalo stuff. In my opinion, I think it's different for all parents, but in my opinion, you have to kinda, kinda kiss ass. You know what I mean? The mom. The meal is not done without having some chips. No. Forty percent less fat, vegan, kettle cooked, sea salt and vinegar. I mean, fathers usually. I mean, unless your father raised you. If you know you're a single home, father raised you, or else maybe your mom was working, your father raised you. That's this different story. But I'm talking about just. I'm just talking about the majority of, you know, people, I guess. The mom took care of the child like crazy, you know what I mean? Uh, her job basically is to protect her kid, right? So, when her kid is hanging around with this other kid, even just for friends, they're going to examine the kid. And you want your kid, especially if it's a boyfriend-girlfriend situation, I think that's what I'll be looking for. If one of my kids brought home you know, their boyfriend-girlfriend, I look at them and see, are they respectful to me? Are they just, res you know, are they like one of those genuinely nice people? You know, that's what I'll be looking for. So you just have to make sure that you are one of them and be yourself, you know? Don't be fake. That's the worst. Try to be somebody that you're not. You know? I mean, having respect to towards older people, 
stuff like that those are the stuff that you might not have now but those are the stuff that you want to work on you know it's one of those things that you should have as a person as a human being you know compassionate and love respect if you don't have that if you lack an apartment then you gotta work on it I used to hate sea salt and vinegar chips. I thought it was so disgusting. I love it now. Mm. I'm so full. I'm full, but like I said, I'm not like heavy full. No? Cucumber and maybe chips to get. Interesting. Very interesting. And if you're a guy, you're serious about meeting your girlfriend's parents it doesn't hurt to bring like a flower or something like that you know the light you don't want to go empty-handed i guess that goes for girls too if you got invited to your boyfriend's house for the first time don't go empty-handed you know it doesn't have to be something really big but you know something small maybe flower bottle of wine you know, find out, find out what they like. You know, maybe some fruits. That's what Asians do. When we go to someone's house, we bring fruits. You know, box of fruits and stuff for, as a gift. And they all like that. All you have to do is just go in there and just say, No, oh, these fruits were really, really good. So I don't know what you like. So I just brought you fruits. And fruits are safe. No? But it's little thing that matters. You know, you do a little thing, they'll be like, oh. Me and Daddy Tang, when we met. You have a story about that, but his parents liked me. Because I was very I know how to respect, give them respect. I still do. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? The only time I like seriously like put my kids like all lined up almost like an army base. Inside. You know, make sure they behave. Is when they're with, well, when they're with their grandparents, which is my in-laws, you know, I make sure they, they behave. I don't want my kids to think that their grandparents is somebody that they could mess around with. No. I get asked a lot here, does your kids speak Korean? Pretty much when they're with their grandparents, they have to speak Korean. They're not allowed to say what? No, they can't say that to their grandparents, no. They can't say hi. They can't say that to the grandparents. Our culture is just not called for. We usually have to bow. No. 안녕하세요. My kids do that. 안녕하세요. No. If my kid was lying down, Jaden or Kayla, lying down on the sofa, the grandparents come in, I make them get up. See, you can't be greeting old people lying down. Crazy? You get up. They don't do that, but I'm saying that's how I teach them, you know? When we're eating dinner, on the dinner table, when we eat out, I make sure my kids ask, can I eat? Can I enjoy this meal? You know, make sure they, when we're eating dinner, they make sure that grandpa and grandma has food in front of them. And then you know, if they start eating, then my kids start eating, you know? I don't teach my kids to just, okay, well, 
Their food is not here yet, but your food is here. Just eat first. It doesn't happen in our house like that. I'm very strict in certain things. You guys just don't know. Anyway, so that was the topic. Okay. Somebody actually said to me uh, a couple videos back. They said, why don't you um, do like a little episode where you ask people and uh, you could answer them and stuff like that. You know, about life in general, whatever. So if you guys have any questions, you could leave it under here and then I'll try to answer them back. <laughs> I don't know everything. I could share my opinion. You know what I mean? It doesn't cost me anything. I am so full. Look at this. I'm going to save these for whatever. No, I just finished this pickle, this last one. Save these. Good luck. If you're on your way to meet your future wife, your future husband's parents, good luck. Subway, fresh is what we do. Ah. <laughs> oh I agree, I don't agree. I'm sorry. That's just me. <laughs>